Good morning. It's day two. Um, so I did not want to wake up this morning. I was really tired. So um, instead of making my video at the house, I'm going to make it on the road. Um, I'm leaving for almost three full days. So I have packed hopefully three full days worth of food, snacks, um, within two lunch bags. So wish me luck. I haven't had breakfast yet, but I'm hoping to have that by the time I get to the airport. Maybe stop and get some coffee. Um, so let's see how Whole30 works while traveling. Okay, so it took longer than expected to get to the airport, but I've got my coffee. I forgot tin foil, so I can put um, my little breakfast egg things in an oven. So I'm gonna have to find something to cook those in. Wish me luck. <laughs> and there are my lunch bags. Pretty awesome. That's a lot of food. All right, that's what breakfast on an airplane looks like. Pre-made little egg cups made at home. Eating them right now before we leave. All right, it's been about an hour and a half since breakfast. And I'm super hungry, so I have some cashews and carrots. All right, here I am sitting in the Chicago airport. And this is my lunch, hanging out in the airport. Kale salad with some broccoli slaw and tuna and some tomatoes. Okay, it's dinner time and I'm in an airplane. So let's make some dinner, shall we? All right, there we go. Some reheated chicken potatoes and green beans. That oh, looks so yummy. Time to eat. All right, so day two is over. I am in Miami, Florida right now. Um, I've been in three airports and two airplanes today. I had my breakfast in an airplane. I had my snack in an airplane. I had my lunch in the Chicago airport. And then I had my dinner in another airplane. Um, so it's definitely doable while you're traveling. You just have to plan ahead and know whether or not you're gonna have access to heat up food or not and you have to be prepared with a cooler and I had like four ice packs between my two lunch bags um, and for my snack today I had cashews and baby carrots and it was really good I wasn't expecting the combination of the two to go together and I kind of pulled out carrots just because that's a normal natural snack for me and I was like, hmm, something a little salty would be good with this. And instead of pulling out my almond butter, I decided to have some cashews and it ended up being really good. Um, day two is the day that you're supposed to have some brain fog and headaches. So I was a little brain foggy this morning, <clears throat> but it was super early when I woke up. So that's kind of normal for me, but I had some cold brew coffee no sugar, no milk, no nothing, just cold brew coffee and ice. Um, and that cleared up the brain fog like that. Um, I don't really have a headache. I have a little bit of like tightness in my neck, which I think is giving me a little bit of a, like a dull headache. Um, I probably could drink some more water. I could possibly be de dehydrated from all the traveling that I'm doing. Um, I've already drank two and a half liters, so Hopefully I'll have another half a liter before I go to bed. Um, so that'll be almost a gallon of water for my day. It is almost 1230 in Florida, which is three other hours ahead of California, but I'm definitely tired as if it was 1230 in California time. So um, I'm definitely gonna be going to bed very soon. I am still hungry though. My stomach is like feeling empty it's telling me that I'm hungry. So um, hopefully water will curb that craving until tomorrow morning when I can wake up and work out and have some breakfast. Um, tomorrow I will show you my little mini fridge here in the hotel room with all my like to go packs all packed in there. So yeah. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot to tell you guys. I totally had a whole 30 dream last night. Um, I was like tossing and turning all night because 
I was having dreams about food prepping and not having enough food, not cooked, not having cooked enough food, not having the Tupperware to pack my food, not having the space for it. So that was my first Whole30 dream. I was like so stressed out about getting all the food <laughs> made and packed and prepped to go. Um, so hopefully since I'm staying in a hotel room tonight and everything's packed and prepped and it's just sitting in the fridge now, um, I won't have any of those dreams. <clears throat> but I did almost eat pretzels today. I was sitting on the airplane and I looked in my hand and I was just about to open a little mini pack of pretzels that are the complimentary snack. And I looked at it and was like, what am I doing? I mean, I'm hungry. I knew I was hungry, but I was just gonna mindlessly eat pretzels. And I kind of looked at it and was like, I'm not eating pretzels right now. I'm. This is not for me. So we finished what we were doing and then that's when I had my carrots and cashews. So yeah, whoops, almost had pretzels, almost ruined day two. But because everything is packed and ready to go, honestly, this is, not as difficult as I thought it was while traveling. Um, it was fine. It was difficult finding places to heat up food, um, but I was prepared for that. And tomorrow I have a whole day in Miami, so hopefully nothing will be too difficult. I will be hanging out with friends out in the city, so planning, hanging out with them around me eating in my hotel room I think is gonna be very important. And not having a fun little drink by the pool tomorrow. So um, I'll probably just buy some sparkling water and squeeze some lemon in my water and call it a day. Anyways, um, but yeah, day two, again, I am so tired. You probably can see my eyelids are like drooping and my hair is a mess from today. Oh my gosh, maybe I should have like brushed my hair or something. <laughs> but yeah, day two is in the bag. Um, interesting note, my plantar fasciitis has been acting up recently and um, today it wasn't terrible. Today um, I could walk in my work shoes and not feel like I was limping or straining other parts of my body. Um, and yeah, so we'll see how it is tomorrow morning. I'm really hoping that Whole30 takes the inflammation out of not only like my stomach, but <clears throat> other areas of my body, for instance, like my calves and my arches, where I'm having a lot of pain with my plantar fasciitis. So, crossing my fingers for that. All right, you guys, have a good night. Sweet dreams. See you in the morning.